flip the camera around. Well, this is unique to me, so I wanted to share it with you. I don't know if anybody else has ever seen these before. I didn't want to disturb it. I don't know if it fell from a tree or if it grew in the ground like that. It's like a puff, puff ball with a shell around it. They're all over out here. And they're not rooted to the ground, so they must have came from a tree, as best I can figure. I just thought them to be strange. I've never saw that before, and I'm always pretty observant of new and different things. Another one. Well, it's morning. It's like 9 o'clock, and Mika is very anxious to take me for a morning walk. And, uh, so I had to grab the camera in case we see some deer or bear or whatever we might see out here. Good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon, if it's afternoon or evening. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see this or not. I can see it with my eyes. Let me zoom up all the way. But in the background are all these, see that white dot right above my finger? That white dot? That's one. Those little white dots. It's obviously a clear day because I can get them on video today. They look like little white mushrooms. Those are all satellite dishes. that are about 80 to 90 feet in diameter. And that's a worldwide known thing where they search in deep space. They're in the format of a Y. Looks like they change the configuration. They do that every now and then. Now behind that one, let's get my finger in here. Behind this one in the center screen, there's a whole bunch that go across. They're uh, they are very huge. There's another one. I forget how many there are, but they're all daisy chained together to search in very deep space. It's a telescope. They use radio waves as a telescope so they can get computer printout visual. And they just upgraded them like, I think it was 20 years ago. But it's one of the strongest satellite dishes arrays in the world that I am camped right above. I suppose this will focus on the tree and not the dish. There's one right below that branch, kind of center screen, and a few other ones you might be able to see in the background. Such a good kitty. It always seems so wrong to have a fire in the daytime. Most people think about a campfire at nighttime. But I do it to burn off all my garbage, packaging for my food, all the paper and cardboard. I'm gonna add a little bit of wood to it. Mika's being really good. Notice I got the collar on her, um, cause she wants to wander too much, more than I can. <laughs> she just go, 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 go. Oh, pretty kitty. Valley below me. Big beautiful valley. So, skies. I'm sure some of you want to see the skies. Some of you tune in just to see skies. We got clear blue skies today. Temperatures are nice. I have to say it's about 78 to 82 or so. There's a few lingering clouds out there. Check out that tree.
just give Mika a massage. She's happy and chilling. She took me for a walk down here. We're not too far from the van. We don't like to go too far away. I don't like to go too far away from 